Hey guys, this is Casper with Tape, and today you join me for episode 2 of Road to Exploration, and today we go where we've kind of been before, but we're gonna go faster and stay there for longer. Yes, we're going to orbit, and uh, I've taken on two missions, one to go to orbit and one to test this decoupler that is currently underneath the uh, rocket on the launch pad, so I'll get a little extra money, so yay, and there it goes, explodes, but I got the mission, so that's an extra... Two grand, so winning. So anyway, yeah, this is just a slightly bigger version of the rock. Pretty much just the rocket I built last time with a upper stage. So I'm doing it like space, I guess, where you design one stage and design the other. But yeah, um, hopefully this will go gloriously and we'll go to orbit perfectly and get a lot of science and get a lot of money and come back and tell everybody about space, um, which is good. So anyway, I'm going to go to four times time accelerate in a second for the sake of uh, the length of the episode. And uh, yeah, so there we go. Um, it's it's pretty good. We did we did our uh, kind of Mercury One sort of thing last time. Well, Mer yeah, Mercury One last time sort of thing. Um, so uh, now it's time for I guess Mercury Two. I still called the rocket Bluestone. Actually, all of this is just called Bluestone. But whatever, we picked our own name, and I thought it was nice. Uh, this upstage is using this smaller engine from the stock extension mod, um, which is quite useful because I don't actually have a small upstage engine yet, but uh, this is just quite useful. I don't think it's particularly efficient, but it is quite small and light, and um, I think it has a good thrust to weight ratio, which is kind of what you want, really, um, in the early days, and we've got tons of fuel. I was a little worried I wouldn't get to orbit, like usual, but, uh, you know. It all went fine. You can see that little red dot over the KSC. It's because I have remote tech installed. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that last episode, but I'm not sure. And here I'm just uh, kind of spotting planets because I've got distant object enhancement. You can see some of these brighter dots. And those are actually uh, distant planets that we can see, which is really cool. I love that mod. I've installed a lot of those sort of mods. Um, but yeah, now it's just time to grab a bunch of science and just, uh, you know, learn about space and things and then just kind of... I don't know, do whatever. Anyway, we've got to go home now, so I'm going to try and uh, come down relatively close to the KSC so that I just get a little more money back for my pod, um, which is always good because uh, money's a thing, and we've got to got to save our money. So yeah, I guess it's uh, time to just sort of deorbit now. Well, we've already deorbited, and then ditch the stage below us so it doesn't come back and hit us, and we'll just watch it fall and die and things. I've left all of this sped up because just. You know, it's a fairly standard thing. There is, of course, some um, live commentary in this for the uh, more interesting bits. Um, but you don't want to listen to it all because this was like a 54-minute recording. So, not such an interesting episode. Although, the things I did are interesting, so do stick around. Um, there's lots of cool things, even some planes. Uh, but yeah, now we're going to start burning up and being surrounded by plasma. I guess now we can't really communicate. I don't know what that menu is there. It's for distant ab object enhancement. And I was like, what? But anyway, yeah, we're going to be surrounded by plasma now. So I guess we can't communicate anymore. Because when you're um, burning up, there's just a big kind of wall of plasma around you. Which means you can't really get any communications out. But yes, we went to orbit. We got the mission. We did the things. And I guess we're going to get a bunch of records as well. Um, which is which is good because that's more money, more science, more notoriety. We'll get better missions in the future. Um, hopefully, missions that aren't so, um, ferry people to space right now because it's a little early in the uh, space agency to be taking tourists to space. Anyway, there goes the shoot, um, and we'll go into one times time accelerator so to see the um, descent into the beautiful water of Scatterer, which is always nice. Um, and yeah, you can just see the sun. Just beating down on the uh, ocean right there as we splash down and everything is glorious. We have returned, we have completed our mission um, and we have got our new records and things. But might as well get a little more science because science is science and it's just points you use to buy things pretty much. Uh, so yeah, let's just recover the vessel and um, see how much money in science we got, I guess, which is hopefully quite a lot, because we have things we need to buy. At some point, we need to buy better buildings, um, which is the main money constraint these days. Uh, but, yeah, so we did pretty well. We got, like, 27 science, so I guess we can unlock some cool stuff um, and got a bunch of money. We've almost got 200 grand now. We could buy a new building if we so desired. And we obviously got the orbital record, which is... Just fantastic, but I'm going to hand you over to pass me for a brief moment to hear something interesting, I'm sure. Alright, what do we got? 
construct of, uh, conduct a focused observational survey of Kerbin. So that's like, take a crew report flying. That's quite high. Uh, is there anything where I can do it in a lower flight where I can reach with a plane? I don't think so. Um, test hammer, solid fuel booster in flight over Kerbin. Where would I have to get that to? 52 to... Uh, I guess I could try and build a rocket plane. Should we try and build a rocket plane? I think we should try and build, try and build a rocket plane. So yes, I unlocked the parts for planes and built myself a rocket plane. And here it is, taking off from the bumpy runway, which I realise is actually way more bumpy than the grass next to it. Which seems weird when you ask someone to build you a runway so it's easier to land planes and they make it worse than the current thing. Um, which is a bit of a shame. But anyway, we're going to fly over there. And uh, what I thought uh, was um, that we we had to fly above 1700 meters like it said, but it actually said below, so rocket plane wasn't really needed. But still, rocket planes are cool, so yeah. And I'm of course using that uh, rocket that I the engine that I used on uh, the upper stage of my last rocket. This is quite small and compact and easy. And a couple of these Juno engines, these little ones, which are nice, and just basically these uh, basic plane parts, which are quite good. Val is obviously in the cockpit since uh, Jeb did the last cool space thing. It's time for Val to have her go. And uh, yeah, just um, activate the engine and get some altitude and speed going, and then I am going to hand you over to pass me again for a brief um, realization. Damn, that's way easier. I thought it was above. <laughs> Take a crew report. Um, thank you. I thought it said above. All right, let's see if. Okay, let's cut these. <laughs> oh, I. <laughs> Totally didn't need a rocket plane then, but still, it's nice to have one. Still, yeah, I'd rather build a rocket plane. Let's just pretend it was a puff. <laughs> I'm such a moron. No doubt everyone in the comments will agree with that. Because you're bastards. Yeah, yeah, try and get them to not think you're, not insult you after calling them bastards. Good, good job, Peter. Well, <sighs> that's... Can't believe I built a rocket plane for no reason. Things past me says often aren't endorsed by uh, future me, but yeah, I uh, that was a bit of a bit of a slap in the face. Uh, this plane does have a bunch of parachutes, one on the cockpit just in case everything goes to shit, and two on the back for landing. Um, I'll be landing on the grass, obviously, because why would I land on the runway? I guess I would get more money for landing on the runway, but it's such an insignificant matter. I earned like 15 grand, and this was a... I'm going to get like probably 99% of my money back, but yeah, just in 4 times time accelerate again for the flight back. Um, I did use almost all of my rocket fuel, uh, all of my oxidizer and liquid oxygen, so yeah, I guess I picked the amount well. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty nice plane, not quite as nippy as the fighter jets I've gotten used to um, flying in collaborative warfare, but uh, you know, it's it, 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 it does the job. <laughs> Pretty big wings and just a rocket to make it easy. Anyway, coming in for a landing, I will slow down because this was quite a nice landing, actually. I realized I probably should have just, like, rolled onto the runway so that I'd get more money back. But I get most of my money back, so it's fine. Anyway, I'm just coming down. I'm going to hit the chutes just before I touch down and then land gently. And, uh, yeah, good job, Val. Anyway, so now I take on a mission to test this solid rocket booster on the launch pad. And let's do a quick speed build. Uh, my initial idea was just to hold it down, um, and then I realized I don't have any launch clamps. Uh, then my idea was to have it have little enough thrust to not take off at all. And then my idea was to fly sideways and land it in the ocean. Now, so this didn't go so great. I put some parachutes on it because I wanted to get the booster back, obviously, um, which you'll see in a second. Uh, and then, um, yeah, there were a few problems from not knowing exactly how much thrust I needed. So... It might not go exactly to plan, but I'll let um, post, uh, old me explain once. And uh, how much thrust does this have? Ooh, a shit ton. We probably should throttle this back to... Yeah, that, that looks good. And there was quite a lot of debate as to whether or not to actually um, uh, have reusable rockets or just disposable rockets because, you know, obviously reusing it sounded good, but it turned out it was basically the same price, so they never bothered investing in it that much, which is a shame, because I bet we'd be much further along in reusing rockets right now if we'd just done that. It may not have been cost-effective at the start, but we've had a lot of experience with it. All right, let's try and land that this in the ocean. 
Um, it doesn't matter about my throttle. <laughs> okay, you crazy bastard. Oh. I did the mission at least. Try not to fall over. Throttled it back too much. Ah. Oh, that's lame. Oh my god. Oh, it's falling over. Oh my god. Oh my god, pull a shoot! Alright. See you later. Oh my god, please don't fall back on the launch pad. It's fine, it's got parachutes. They probably won't burn off under all that solid fuel. Well, Jeb's alive. <laughs> Until that booster comes back down. So that's good. Oh, we did the mission, though. Yeah, see, it didn't pay that much, so I didn't want to just... I wanted to get it back. Um, hey, uh, solid rocket booster, you gonna come down? Hopefully not on Jeb. Talking of which, let's get Jeb the fuck out of the... Just get him out of the area. <laughs> Jeb, there's a heavy chance there's gonna be a massive explosion quite soon, so... Yep, run, run, run like hell. <laughs> if it comes down on the pod now... <laughs> yeah, let's watch her from Jeb's perspective. Turn my lights on. Yeah, he's crazy enough to stand here. Huh? Oh, do you reckon it'll actually land? I think it's coming down too fast, really. Please don't destroy the launch pad. Yeah, it reused! I reused a rocket, just like Grasshopper, except with parachutes and a solid rocket booster. Well, I did the mission. I think that was great. <laughs> oh, jeez. You know when you think, yeah, could have just died. That's what Jeb's thinking. Well, that went better than expected. I didn't even have to land in the water. Got all my money back. Let's get Jeb back. Alright. Alright. I am going to have to send someone into space with that, um... With the flea booster. I think that's the last thing I'll do today. Uh. But yeah! Science data from the space around Kerbin. Let's take on that as well and let's go to space! I gotta test this in a 170 kilometer orbit. Right. We're gonna need a new rocket. So the contraption I've designed for testing this solid rocket booster and getting to orbit is a slightly larger rocket. And I thought I'd need a little more thrust and didn't think uh, power, uh, didn't think um, gimbling would be a massive issue, so I used the non-gimbling engine, realizing now that I can't really turn over. And I'm trying to fight it with the minuscule amount of torque um, from the catchable, but it isn't working and it's tipping over north, um, which isn't great. Luckily it has some pretty big stabilizing wings on the bottom, so it should be fine because it'll naturally gravity turn and hopefully get to orbit. However, going north is actually um, actually more expensive because if you're going uh, equatorially, you can imagine you also have the rotation adding to your velocity. So this rocket may have been able to get to orbit like that, but uh, <laughs> spoiler alert, it doesn't get to orbit going north. But still, um, we'll do what we can do. But yeah, you can see I've just pretty much surrendered to the gravity turn here. Um, just, it just, yeah, it just made sense just to sort of um, let it turn and just let it do its course sort of thing. Uh, yeah, hopefully, um, the, the problem is that solid rocket boost is quite heavy. The payload on top of this two-stage rocket is two point something tons, which you can imagine wouldn't be that hard to get to orbit, but uh, when you're going north, it's slightly more difficult. And I obviously took a terrible launch trajectory because I didn't have any control. It was just naturally gravity turning. Um, which is a bit of a shame. Well, I wish I hadn't fought it at the start, because then it probably would have just gone to orbit. Um, there isn't... Uh, the, the solid rocket booster, I took most of the fuel and thrust down, so that um, it wouldn't go crazy. So it's not like I can use that to get to orbit. Not that that would help me for that mission anyway. But then the top stage is uh, just for deorbiting once I was in orbit, theoretically, which I'm obviously not. Um, but yeah, this does have a gimbling engine now, so I have a little more control. So I might as well try going as fast as possible so that my re-entry into the atmosphere isn't quite as steep. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, a bit of a bit of a shame there, but uh, it's always fun to have these weird little mistakes. And I still can get um, science data from the space around Kerbin, so this mission won't be unprofitable. It's just I'm going to only be doing one mission instead of two. And I'm firing the solid rocket booster with relatively minuscule thrust and very little fuel. Um, so yeah, we'll just ditch that now, and then might as well use the, my deorbit stage to get a little faster. Um, 
or just well I'll do that later so that I can just have a slightly less steep descent into the atmosphere um, and maybe even get to the Arctic so I can get a little bit of Arctic science uh, maybe at some point I'll just get like a really big cargo plane and fly some labs out to the various biomes and do a little bit of science uh, I think that could be quite fun but um, I'm not sure it might just be really time consuming but you know I like I like doing that sort of stuff just have a nice research stations on Kerbin, and I think the um, the labs work kind of like giving you research per day now, so maybe it'll work, but it probably won't be that much on Kerbin, so yeah. But still, it gives me a reason to have moon bases, um, and planetary bases, because you can just leave the science labs there now, and they'll generate science every day. Um, so, that's actually pretty good. Anyway, now just uh, burning, yeah, to not get into orbit, just to make my um, descent less steep, but much faster. So it probably didn't really do anything, but it'll be fine. I've got a heat shield. Um, and Jeb's pretty, you know, he's a badass. Um, maybe I should put Val in the uh, cockpit. Jeb's the only one who's been to space so far. Uh, probably would be good to put uh, Val in there, but, you know, whatever. It's stuff, stuff changes, you know. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, we're coming down now. Just, uh... Just descend, leave my stage below me. And luckily this actually will be stable on like some of the things from last episode. And actually technically at the start of the episode. Because it's just a pod. Um, but obviously right now I have to bring science packages back. Because I can't get out and grab the science from them. Um, the descent however is just obviously a descent. So I will speed through that uh, in now-ish. And then land in the Arctic. My favorite place to be. The glorious Arctic, protected by a glorious warband, well, collection of warbands. The Territorial Arctic. Oh, that's the wrong series. Whatever. Penguins and Nazi and such. Uh, <laughs> let's just go and land on the Arctic floor. And here we go. Rather, rather beautiful. You can see the sky is quite nice. There's no aurora right now um, because... I haven't got cloud mods installed. But anyway, we touch down and, uh, yeah, get a nice shot of those mountains. And um, I'm going to spend a while trying to get a beauty shot. This will probably be the thumbnail, just because I really like that sun setting over those mountains. I think that looks just really nice, especially with the scattering of the atmosphere. It's just... Oh, have I said how much I love scatterer yet? I don't think I have. Uh, so anyway, I'm just going to grab a little more science from, um, from the... Uh, from, from, from the Arctic, and I do have a crew report from space, um, obviously, for completing my mission, uh, so that this mission will be paid for and not just completely ridiculously expensive. So just recover this, grab the science. It's still not enough for anything new. It hasn't been a particularly productive episode, but I've done some cool stuff. I've had fun. We built a plane. We went to orbit. Yeah, it was it was productive at the start, and then gently less productive with the whole solid rocket booster shenanigans, and then. <laughs> The craziness in space. But anyway, yeah, uh, this is coming to the end of the, ep <clears throat> end of the episode. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I, uh, yeah, I hope you'd like the kind of sporadic editing style of me uh, switching between live and post commentary. Um, but i just playing around with stuff. So yeah, I, anyway, um, well, I figure out that I did just make a profit on that mission. So that's great. So, <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I, uh, this has been KSP with Tape. I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.